Okay, in this recording we're going to talk about how to grade the Writing Artifact 1 draft, um, or any Writing Artifact draft. So again, we're going to start out in our Moodle course, and then we're going to click on the assignment. And in here we're going to see how many students have submitted something. And so um, what we're going to do is we're going to get a look at uh, how each student submitted something. Um, so we're going to click uh, View One Submitted Assignment, and what you're going to see is that, uh, this should be fairly familiar to you, is that um, you should be able to see what all of the documents that the students have submitted. Now, um, this is not an online assignment, and so that you will have to deal with some document management. And so what you're going to have to do is that you're going to have to download each document, take a look at it, and then uh, make comments. Now the comments can come in many forms. That You can comment directly in the document, you can comment um, in here in the comments box, or you can make audio comments. I mean, that's really pretty much up to you, but the students are going to expect some comments so that they can make a revision. So let's go through the process of first looking at a document. Um, we're going to click on Fulano Mangano's um, writing artifact, and you notice that uh, Fulano Mangano has um, made a very descriptive name in here so that you know exactly what it is. So we're going to click on that. Now it's going to download into your computer somewhere. Um, most computers from the downloads menu, you can right click and then you can just tell it to open. Um, if not, you just have to know where your downloads normally go and then open the document from there. Um, a lot of times also you can just um, right or double click um, the document name and see it. So here we are. Here's Fulano Mangano's um, writing artifact. And so that you can see that they have written some text. Um, I've just Greeked this to put in some text in here, and um, like I said, we can make all kinds of comments to this. But instead of instead of me making the comments directly in the document, what I think that I'll do for this one is I'll show you how to make comments outside of the document. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is here. Let's make one change in this so it makes a little bit of sense. So. We're going to uh, take this and then um, we're going to uh, make a this a strike through. Okay, and then we're going to save that document. Okay, so now we've made that revision. Um, and we're just going to close this out. So we're going to go back to here and then um, the, the place for this assignment that you get the most functionality is if you click on the grade rather than just the quick grading and I'll show you why. So we're going to click on grade here and then we're going to see um, here's the document so that you can download it directly from here as well. And This is the one that the students put in. Um, so um, in here I'm going to say look at the changes. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload that document back to the students, um, to the student. Now I believe that I put that on the desktop. Or probably not the desktop, it looks like probably in download. So again, I said you have to know where these things go. All right, so here's that document. Fulano Mangano's writing sample, so I'm going to open that up and I'm going to upload this file. So now notice that it has Fulano Mangano's assignment here and it down here as well. Now I forgot about this part. You need to upload the assignment first before you put in text. A, a slight, um, um, not a glitch in the system, just sort of the way it works. Okay, and then you're going to want to hit uh, save all the changes. So now you'll see that um, that no grade's been assigned to this, or you can assign a grade at this point. So you can say, okay, that they've made um, the revisions. We're assuming that what's going to go on in this is that uh, that they're going to get uh, really no grade except for they've completed it or they haven't completed it um, for the um, draft and then the final grade is going to be assessed when they turn in their final um, revision. And so um, just so that you know how this works, let's log in as Fulano Mangano and take a look to see what Fulano sees for this assignment. So we're going to click on their name, we're going to log in as them, and then we're in this course and we're going to take a look at um, one draft. So they'll see here is their document that they've submitted, they can't modify it, and then or uh, the, uh, sorry, here's the document that they've submitted, and then here is the document that I've uploaded back for them 
to look at. And so what a student would do at that point is that they'd take it, they'd, they'd click on it, they'd look at the revisions that you've made or look at any instructions that you've put in here, and then they'd make those revisions. And so that's how to grade the draft.